guys, so today I'm going to be doing this makeup look and I love how it turned out. Honestly, when I first started, I had no clue what kind of look I was going for. I just know I really wanted like a pinky look to go with my shirt, I guess. And I feel so girly right now because I curl, I have my hair curled and I have my nails pink and my shirt's pink and there goes the lighting so that's one thing I want to apologize for I want to say I'm so sorry for the lighting because the sun just like keeps getting like hit by clouds and like getting covered and then not covered and then covered and then not covered and it literally ruined this whole video lighting wise I am so so sorry I'm also sorry if it's not in focus literally I know stuff like that can be a such a, such a turn off for a video so I just want to apologize for that but, so yeah, I'm really liking how this turned out, and my hair, I know it's like so different. I have like a middle part, and like, I don't know, I just feel so like bombshell, like Victoria's Secrets. Like, I don't know, I feel really good with this look, and I love it, and I love my hair. If you couldn't tell, I just got it done. Um, it's uh, very orange. I'm almost like a ginger if you look at me in the sunlight, and I keep touching my hair, because I want my hair to be in the front, but it keeps getting in my armpits. But, um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below if you want to see more videos like this, I guess you could say. More, like, talk, get ready with me kind of videos. Um, what else do I have to tell you guys? Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. I keep looking in the viewfinder because I want to make sure the lighting is okay and that I'm in focus. So, I'm so sorry for that. I'm sorry about everything in this video, but I wanted to upload it because... Honestly, I love how this turned out, and it really sucks that all the lighting and focusness is so messed up, but I really wanted to get this up for you guys because I thought it was a really pretty look, and I wanted to share it with you guys in case you guys want to try it out. And so, yeah, that's all I have to say, and if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. To start off this eyeshadow look, I'm going to be taking my Revolution Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows, and this is in Flawless Matte. And I wanted to go for like an all matte look, but I might add just a tad bit of shimmer. So to start off, I'm just going to take this first shade right here, all the way in the corner, and I'm going to put it all over my lid just to set the eyeshadow base so it's easier to blend everything out. I'm going to be taking this shade right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, right there. And this was cheap. This was only like 15 bucks at Ulta, which I thought was really cool. But anyways, I'm taking the shade. I'm putting it into my crease. Next, I'm going to be taking... Which shade do I want to use? I'm going to be taking this color right above the orange I just used. I don't want to blind you guys. I'm sorry. And then I'm also going to put that into the crease. I'll go a little bit heavier with this color because it is pink, so that's the look I'm going for, a pinky look. Okay, I just tried zooming in on my eyes, but the lighting's way too bright to even see my eyeshadow, so I apologize. It's better, like you can see it better when it's far away, and I also hope it's in focus. I apologize if it's not. I'm really hoping it is right now. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, and this is in the Ulta palette that I just got. I don't know what kind of palette this is. Hold on. Yeah, it just says Ulta on it, and it looks like this. And then I'm going to open up the eyeshadow side. I'm going to be taking this color right here. Sorry, I really apologize for the lighting. And I'm actually going to be putting that on the outer corners of my eyes. And these eyeshadows aren't too, too pigmented, which is okay. So I gotta really swirl my brush in there. So because these shadows aren't too, too pigmented, I'm not tapping off the excess. I'm literally swirling my brush into the product and just applying it straight from the pan. But so far, it looks super, super pretty with this look. So, so far, I'm really happy with it. I make the weirdest faces, I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to take a flat shader brush. If I can find one, that would be lovely. I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to be taking the shade right here, the 
uh, above or below, depending on the way you look at it, before the shade I just used. And that's gonna go all over my lid. Just gonna take this um, brush again, the one I used for the outer corner, and just go right over that and blend it. So I'm just gonna take this shade right here with a uh, little crease brush like this. And I'm actually gonna put this on the outer corner of my eyes. Now this shade is a bit more pigmented than the purple one, so. Just making sure I go a little bit light with it and then I'll go back in with some of that. Or not purple, but it's definitely like a mauve shade. I'll go back in and blend everything together. I'm just going to take a fluffier brush if I can find one. Let's see here. I have a bunch of blending brushes, but sometimes they're hard to find. All right. I'm just going to take this brush and nothing on it and just blend out the edges. Just a clean blending brush. Just blending everything together. Like so. And now I'm going to do my eyeliner. And I'm using this all day liner, long wear liquid liner. Actually, no, I'm not going to use this because I'm not keeping this makeup on all day. And I want to be able to get it off. So I'm not going to use that. We're going to use... Okay, so this eyeliner is actually getting pretty old, but I just realized I have like no liquid eyeliners and I'm pretty upset about it. But I'm gonna take my Physicians Formula Eye Boost in black and I'm just going to line my eyes off camera really quickly. All right, I wouldn't be surprised if my eyeliner was uneven, but I'm just gonna quickly move on to mascara and I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Flamed Out Very Black Blaze Mascara. I don't know, I wanted to try it because I don't know, I'm just getting sick of my mascara that I've been using, so I decided to give this a try. And this kind of looked like the Too Faced Better Than Sex wand, so I thought I would give it a try, and we will see. Let's go with these babies. Alright, so, for lashes, I'm actually going to apply this off camera, so this video will be nice and quick for you guys. But I'm going to be using the Cara eyelashes, and I got these on shopmissa.com for a dollar and the band on these are freaking amazing but these are the number uh, 43's and I'm just gonna measure my, on my eyeballs put them on and I will be right back okay these are a little bit more long and fluttery than they than I thought they were gonna be but that is okay but I decided I wanted to deepen up the outer corners just a little bit because I felt there wasn't enough dimension so I'm just gonna take my makeup revolution palette again and I'm gonna find a dark shade if I can Maybe not that palette, maybe this palette. Let's see here. I'm going to take a purple right here. That purple right there with the same brush I used for the outer corner. And I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit because I felt that it wasn't deep enough. It was all just too simple. That's a lot better. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I love how this turned out. Of course my lashes are in the way, but sorry if you guys can't see me. I'm trying to like multitask here. And so far I've used all drugstore products besides my eyebrows and foundation, which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. Alright, so now that I did that, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. And for my under eyes, I'm going to be using the same concealer I used to clean up my brows. And I'm going to try not to use too, too much of this. And it's going to look like it doesn't match. Oh, it doesn't on camera. It looks fine on camera. It's super yellow, but that will help with the brightening effect. So that should be good. Oh, it does. It has a minty smell. All right. I'm going to use... What brush should I use for this job here? I'm going to use... No, not that one. Hmm, I don't know what brush to use. I'm going to use my Precision Beauty flat top brush for this. And it says this is waterproof, so if you guys are interested, 
Maybe I could like do a review on this and see if it's actually waterproof and it would be perfect for summer too because if you live in the US I guess I could say it is going to be summer soon so this would be like the perfect concealer for that. So we'll see if this looks good and if it doesn't this will be my go to concealer for the summertime so that's pretty exciting. I'm also going to put it on the bridge of my nose, a little bit in the middle of my brows, my chin, and my cupid's bow. Anywhere I'd really highlight and then I'm also going to put it around my nose because I tend to get pretty red there. And I meant to put on my NYX green concealer but I completely forgot so we're going to have to make this work here. Now I'm going to take my Tarte. Uh, smooth operated Amazonian clay finishing powder and I actually got this at BeautyCon um, in my little goodie bag so I've been using this lately to set under my eyes whenever I'm filming so I've been testing it out a little bit I just gotta find a brush to put it on with let's see what brush should I use? I don't know it's such a tough decision I can't decide Let's, let's use this brush. I'm going to take my e.l.f. small tapered, tapered brush. I'm just going to pack that on under there. Like so. And it didn't crease at all, which is awesome because usually I have trouble with creasing. But it didn't crease yet. Usually it creases right away, but it didn't crease, which is awesome. I'm just going to set... The rest of my face, use the rest of this powder. So next I'm just going to quickly finish up under my eyes. I'm going to take whatever is left over on my brush. Just go right under my eye. Take this brush as well and take whatever is left over. Because I'm the type of person that likes to go very subtle on the lower lash line. So usually I just take whatever's left over on my brush and go right below. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara. Hopefully this will look good on my lower lashes. We will see. But I'm just going to apply this to my lower lashes. What do we have in here? This is my like little makeup bag that I bring to school. But I'm just going to take... I'm going to take my MAC bronzing powder and this is in matte bronze and I'm gonna take my IT Cosmetics this is actually a powder brush but I love using this for bronzer because it's got a nice taper to it so I'm just gonna load up my brush with some bronzer and apply it to my cheeks oh my god my phone won't stop going off Okay, so I haven't used this NYX blush yet. It's in taupe. And I remember they discontinued this for like the longest time, but a lot of people loved it for contouring. So I'm actually going to try that today. But I just want to add some shimmer to my cheeks really quickly. And I'm going to use my um, NYX blush. This is their older packaging in terracotta. And I'm just going to take a little bit. And I love using this to just add a little bit of glow to my bronzer. I just think it looks so pretty. I'm really sorry about the lighting guys honestly like I picked the worst days to film worst days like whenever I feel like filming it's always a bad day to film always so there's that I wish the lighting wasn't so like dumb all right now I'm gonna contour using taupe I haven't even picked out a lip color yet because I have no clue what I'm doing <laughs> So I'm going to focus it mainly back here and then blend upwards. Don't blend down, blend up. I mean, unless you want to, but I want a nice chiseled look. I'm also going to take a little bit on a different brush. Which brush did I use the other day? I contoured my nose the other day and I used a brush, but I can't remember which one it was. So I'm just going to use, oh, this one. It's the e.l.f. Flawless brush. I'm actually going to contour my nose with it. Make sure I really pat that off. And I like never contour my nose, but I'm feeling it today, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh 
my back is wicked itchy. All right, blush. I'm gonna be using my City Color B Matte Blush. This thing is ginormous, it will last you forever. It is so pigmented, freaking love it. So I'm just gonna take a brush and just lightly apply that to my cheekbones. Pretty much where I put my bronzer, I just really load up product on my cheekbones, as you can tell. But literally, a little bit of this stuff goes a super long way, so you want to be really careful with it. Just like that. I'm not going to clean it up underneath, because as you can see, the brush pretty much did it for me, so I'm not going to waste extra product on it. But for a highlight, I am going to use a pinky highlight because I am going for a pinky look today. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Baked Highlighter Powder in Peach Lights. This is a gorgeous highlighter. I love their highlighters. I also have Radiant Lights. And I hope they make a kajillion more because I will buy all of them. No joke. I freaking love these. And I'm just going to take my e.l.f. blush brush. I, use, I love using this to apply highlighter because I feel like it fits perfectly right where I want it to go. And I really, really load it on. I wish you guys can see. You probably can't though because of the lighting. But hopefully the sun will get covered in a few minutes so you guys can see a little bit better. I usually don't go with this crazy with my highlighter, but I'm doing it so you guys can see on camera. So sometimes my camera doesn't pick up everything. But this is the Maybelline. They're like super, super old packaging. And this is in Champagne Fizz. And I love using this to highlight my inner corner. But I just think this is like the gorgeous shade to highlight with. It's just so, oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god. I've literally had this for like over three years because I had, I bought this when my grandmother was alive, which was a while ago. And she passed away three years ago and I still have this eyeshadow. I just literally can't get rid of it. But the shade of this, and I, you guys, some of you guys are probably like, Brianna, that's disgusting, you need to throw it out. But honestly, like, I haven't broken out from it, and it's still super pigmented, and it's so pretty. Like, why am I going to throw out something that still works, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that is that. So far, so good. The only thing I have left is my lips, and i got to figure out which color I'm going to use, because I have no clue. Alright, so I'm going to use my, I haven't even sat down yet, I'm going to use my trusty NYX lip liner in, what is this, natural? Yeah, I use this all the time. For lips, I'm going to be using my Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Tees. Hopefully this will look really pretty with my, oh my god, do you see what just happened? I was trying to get the other side off. There we go. Hopefully this will look really pretty with my eyeshadow, but let's find out. And I'm going to apply a little bit of gloss because I've been into gloss lately. I don't know, I've just seen a lot of people wear gloss. And I'm just going to take my NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. Oh, now the sun comes out when I turn my lights off. I mean, the sun hides away. Oh my god, I freaking love this eyeshadow right now. And just my makeup in general, I'm so in love. So in love. <laughs> okay guys, so that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you want to see more looks like this. I love the way it looks. I am so proud of myself and how this turned out. Literally, this was just random. I wasn't planning on filming today, but I was watching YouTube videos. I was like, damn, I should really film. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited about this makeup look, as I keep saying over and over and over again. So I'm sorry. And I keep saying I'm sorry over and over again. <sighs> but I'm just so excited. And I had a lot of coffee, so I'm like, Ugh, you know what I mean? But um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to see more. And thanks for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.